With every breath, a little more air. With every step, a stronger stride. With every push, the finish line gets that much closer. What are you doing here, but every run also means pounding on your joints, an impact on your knees, over and over. Running can sometimes result in knee injuries, and even if you don't have a diagnosed injury, it's possible you feel some kind of pain in your knee when you run. And that's where all this high-tech equipment comes in. Our research and this technology is really geared towards the everyday runner, but it's still going to be applicable for the elite runner and the runner who just wants to start. They're trying to run their first 5K or their first marathon. It's called the 3D gait analysis, and these cameras and little sensors give physiotherapists a much more precise look at how your body moves when you run. And that means a much more precise analysis of what's causing that nagging knee pain. The cameras that we're setting up here are actually going to look at exactly how your foot, your knee, and your hip move. And that might give us a lot of clues as to why that particular knee injury is there. The technology is used in only five cities in North America. And according to these guys, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of diagnosing the problem. What we can see and sense versus what the computer can see and sense is not the same. It's, it's really quite sophisticated in, in what that's able to show us. This is the most sophisticated assessment tool available in the world in terms of walking and running patterns. Ferber says after studying knee injuries at the University of Calgary for several years, he's discovered that 50% of runners get injured every year, and 50% of those runners will have a knee injury. But he says it rarely has anything to do with the knee itself. And our research and other people's research has shown that it's actually a problem from the hip down. So almost 80% of runners who are injured will demonstrate some type of hip muscle weakness that translates to an inability to control your leg while you're, while you're running. And that hit pretty close to home. I've had knee pain for a few years and was told it was likely because of weak hip and leg muscles. So I thought I'd give it a try. And after the sensors and cameras collect all the information, the computer spits out a report. So again, your ankle's doing great, 72. Your knee's doing quite well, 67. It's all in your hip. Mm. You know, that's one of your lowest scores. So for about $200, you too can get this report. Then take it to your physiotherapist who will be able to tell you what exactly is wrong and design a program specific to your injury. Unfortunately, MSP doesn't cover this, but if you have an employer who covers physiotherapy, you're in luck. And the big winners in all of this? If we can reduce 5% of running injuries to a 45% of all runners every year, we're going to save the Canadian healthcare system a billion dollars a year. So if you have a big clunky knee brace like me and you never want to see it again, this new technology just might be the ticket. And the first clinic in BC to provide this service is now open in the West Shore. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Iwanishan, your Community News Specialist. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.